guys, welcome back. Today we're doing another one of our Different Faces Challenge Disney Edition Cinderella Sims. Uh, this is Cinderella from Cinderella 80. Specifically, it looks like her name is Cindy Cardone. Uh, I couldn't find a lot of information on this, I'm not gonna lie. It came out in 1984 and is described as an Italian romantic comedy. And it's like a TV miniseries. I, I, I debated doing this one, but like, to me, if any Disney princess is truly like, suits the 80s aesthetic, it's Cinderella. Like she had the choker, she had the big dress, she had kind of a wild hair. I know a lot of people say Ariel, cause of like the mutton chop sleeves, but like, no, 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 no. The 80s princess, the one that should have come out in the 80s is Cinderella all the way. And yeah, so I decided to make her just because I thought she had a really interesting face and a lot of features that would be fun to try to recreate. I will say that there was definitely some photo editing happening on like, there's an image, it must be like, whatever was on the, the box. Uh, I want to say DVD box, it wasn't a DVD, but like, you know what I mean? The box it was on the tin where like her eyes are super duper wide and she's singing and like also she's got like crazy cheekbones and everything, but every other image she has a much softer face her eyes are a lot narrower so that's what i went with and i used the old standby helga hair it's not quite right she had a, a very thick 80s fringe the bun was higher but i love this hair i used to use this hair on everything like i was obsessed and i think it's still a good hair like it's a very heavy hair but if you're meant to be creating a character that had a lot of hair yeah putting their hair up would look like this. So I'm fine with it. I messed up the nose originally and I do fix the weird situation going on there. Don't worry. But I did also get the really defined nose that this actress has. It's like an upside down T. It's really cool. And I was happy that I was able to do it. The mouth I wasn't as sure on. I kind of guessed because in a lot of the stills and images like she's smiling or she's doing something. So it's hard to tell what her actual mouth shape really is but I think I got close and then I just put her in a pink dress because I wasn't gonna put her in an 80s prom dress the, the, that was the equivalent and it was, it was cute but like I'm tired of those I'm actually recording this kind of ahead of time because I'm gonna be going on a trip and I'm also working work working oh my gosh working on opening like a small little Etsy shop thing so I've been putting a lot of time into that I'm also trying to just like be a better person so I've been doing things that I'm supposed to be doing like forcing myself to drink water exercising not doing all the fun stuff like, but, but like I've also started doing 10 minute sketches every day I used to draw so much and like I got away from it and now my skills are just crap and I'm not trying to even do it professionally. I just, I enjoy drawing and I know that, but I don't make the time for it. So I'm trying to make time for other things to help me out on that. I'm pre-recording a lot so that I don't have the excuse of like, well, I need to do this and do that because I prefer to do things like this. And unfortunately, when I'm in charge of me, my preference wins. So I'm trying to bully myself into being better about things and also just like doing things that I want to do but again don't make time for it. That's why I have the second YouTube channel now is making time to play other video games that like I really want to play. I just fall back on what's comfortable and what's easy and what is kind of habit at this point. And I've been having so much fun. I've been playing Monster Rancher. I played Stardew Valley. I played a couple other games. I've been kind of doing like four posts a month and then I stick to a specific game that month. I am considering doing two days on that channel, like two half an hour videos. I've been toying with the times of like, should it be an hour? Should it... The very first videos are four hours, but like, I think that's too much. I think an hour is reasonable, but I've been doing half an hour with Monster Rancher. But yeah, it's just, and I'm happy that I'm doing it and I feel good and I feel better. And like, I feel like I haven't wasted money on buying games that I never play. And now my next kind of big thing is making things in my craft room because I have a backlog of projects that like I have everything for. I just need to do it. Currently I'm making over, like I have one of those cubby bookshelves, but like it doesn't fit the aesthetic of the room at all. So I'm stabilizing it with some backing because those things are never made very well. 
and then I'm going to paint it and probably put paper or tile on the top. I haven't decided yet, but I'm just making it over, making it look nice. It's my, it's going to be my project bin. So all of my in process projects will go there. So I can see them easily and go, oh, I should make that. We'll see how it works out. But yeah, I'm basically done here. I wanted to find a necklace because she did have some interesting gold jewelry. She had like an armband that was like a gold bangle. And then she had like a leaf necklace. I didn't really have anything that was right. So I just put the Sansa ne necklace on her. But yeah, I gave her the, the, the classic smoky eye and we were pretty much done. I do have, I think, two more Cinderella's left. That's also why I'm pushing this because I want to start making them for the Smashdown. And then we're done with Cinderella and I'm so excited. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It really does help. And I'll see you in the next one.